it's become a common sight in Brazil, running street battles with police. Behind it are the Black Blocks, a mysterious masked youth group that aggressively confronts police during protests and destroy property. They've been called everything from vandals to criminals to anarchists, but since they rarely give interviews, not much is known about who they are or how they operate. Revon wanted his identity obscured and asked that we only use his nickname. Black Bloc is not a group or a social movement. It's simply a tactic used by protesters to protect themselves from police aggression and express a complete rejection of capitalism. He's 21 years old, well-spoken, and up until last year was working in a bank and doing a double major at the university. But when he witnessed the violent police crackdown against peaceful protesters in June, he quit work and school and became a black bloc. He says their tactics are misunderstood. During a protest within the black bloc, there is a group that do the attacks against corporations. Other bloc that defends from police repression, a group that only defends the protesters with shields and other things, and another group that break property as a means of distracting the police. On the streets, opinion of the black bloc tactics is divided. A recent poll here in Sao Paulo found that nearly 95% of those people surveyed said they were against the actions of the black bloc. However, across Brazil and various protest movements, We've seen protesters actually welcome the presence of the Black Bloc members, saying they act almost as a buffer against police. Police appear to have been caught off guard trying to respond to the phenomenon, but in recent weeks have pushed for a stronger response that would involve criminalizing them as a group, something that could backfire. Black Bloc is a strategy that is very successful because as they are criminalized, the images of their actions are widely publicized and it attracts more followers. Revan says the Black Blocs will be on the streets during the World Cup next year in a scenario looking increasingly unlikely that the Black Blocs will go away anytime soon. Gabriel Ozando, Al Jazeera, Sao Paulo.